The Lick Observatory is an astronomical observatory, owned and operated by the University of California. It is situated on the summit of Mount Hamilton, in the Diablo Range just east of San Jose, California, U.S. The observatory is managed by the University of California Observatories, with headquarters on the University of California, Santa Cruz campus, where its scientific staff moved in the mid-1960s. It is named after James Lick. Topic Early history Lick Observatory is the world's first permanently occupied mountaintop observatory. The observatory, in a classical revival-style structure, was constructed between 1876 and 1887, from a bequest from James Lick of $700,000 approximately $22 million in 2014 U.S. dollars. Lick, originally a carpenter and piano maker, chose the site atop Mount Hamilton and was buried there in 1887 under the future site of the telescope, with a brass tablet bearing the inscription, Here lies the body of James Lick. Lick additionally requested that Santa Clara County construct a first-class road to the summit, completed in 1876. Lick chose John Wright, of San Francisco's Wright and Sanders firm of architects, to design both the observatory and the astronomer's house. All of the construction materials had to be brought to the site by horse and mule-drawn wagons, which could not negotiate a steep grade. To keep the grade below 6.5%, the road had to take a very winding and sinuous path, which the modern-day road California State Route 130 still follows. Tradition maintains that this road has exactly 365 turns this is approximately correct, although uncertainty as to what should count as a turn makes precise verification impossible. The road is closed when there is snow at Lick Observatory. The first telescope installed at the observatory was a 12-inch refractor made by Alvin Clark. Astronomer E. E. Barnard used the telescope to make exquisite photographs of comets and nebulae, according to D.J. Warner of Warner & Swazi Company. The 36-inch refracting telescope on Mount Hamilton was Earth's largest refracting telescope during the period from when it saw first light on January 3, 1888, until the construction of Yerkes Observatory in 1897. Warner and Swazi designed and built the telescope mounting, with the 36-inch lens manufactured by one of the Clark sons, Alvin Graham. E. E. Barnard used the telescope in 1892 to discover a fifth moon of Jupiter, Amalthea. This was the first addition to Jupiter's known moons since Galileo observed the planet through his parchment tube and spectacle lens. The telescope provided spectra for W. W. Campbell's work on the radial velocities of stars. In May 1888, the observatory was turned over to the regents of the University of California, and it became the first permanently occupied mountain top observatory in the world. Edward Singleton Holden was the first director. The location provided excellent viewing performance because of lack of ambient light and pollution. Additionally, the night air at the top of Mount Hamilton is extremely calm, and the mountain peak is normally above the level of the low cloud cover that is often seen in the San Jose area. When low cloud cover is present below the peak, light pollution is cut to almost nothing. On May 21, 1939, during a nighttime fog that engulfed the summit, a U.S. Army Air Force Northrop A-17 two-seater attack plane crashed into the main building. Because a scientific meeting was being held elsewhere, the only staff member present was Nicholas Mayall. Nothing caught fire and the two individuals in the building were unharmed. The pilot of the plane, Lt. Richard F. Lorenz, and passenger Private W. E. Scott were killed instantly. The telephone line was broken by the crash, so no help could be called for at first. Eventually help arrived together with numerous reporters and photographers, who kept arriving almost all night long. Evidence of their numbers could be seen the next day by the litter of flash bulbs carpeting the parking lot. 
The press widely covered the accident and many reports emphasized the luck in not losing a large cabinet of spectrograms which was knocked over by the crash coming through an astronomer's office window. Perhaps more notable was the lack of fire or damage to a telescope dome. In 1950, the California State Legislature appropriated funds for a 120-inch reflector telescope, which was completed in 1959. The observatory additionally has a 24-inch Cassegrain reflector dedicated to photoelectric measurements of star brightness, and received a pair of 20-inch astrographs from the Carnegie Corporation. Topic time signal service In 1886, Lick Observatory begins supplying railroad standard time to the Southern Pacific Railroad, and to other businesses, over telegraph lines. The signal was generated by a clock manufactured by E. Howard & Co., specifically for the observatory, and which included an electric apparatus for transmitting the time signal over telegraph lines. While most of the nation's railroads received their time signal from the U.S. Naval Observatory time signal via Western Union's telegraph lines, the Lick Observatory time signal was used by railroads from the West Coast all the way to Colorado. Topic. Current state With the growth of San Jose, and the rest of Silicon Valley, light pollution became a problem for the observatory. In the 1970s, a site in the Santa Lucia Mountains at Junipero Serra Peak, southeast of Monterey, was evaluated for possible relocation of many of the telescopes. However, funding for the move was not available, and in 1980 San Jose began a program to reduce the effects of lighting, most notably replacing all street lamps with low-pressure sodium lamps. The result is that the Mount Hamilton site remains a viable location for a major working observatory. The International Astronomical Union named asteroid 6216 San Jose to honor the city's efforts toward reducing light pollution. In 2006, there were 23 families in residence, plus typically between 2 and 10 visiting astronomers from the University of California campuses, who stay in dormitories while working at the observatory. The little town of Mount Hamilton atop the mountain has its own police and a post office, and until 2005 had a one room K 8 school. In 2008, there were 38 people residing on the mountain. The chef and commons dinner were decommissioned. By 2013, with continuing budget and staff cuts, there remain only about 19 residents, and it is common for the observers to work from remote observing stations rather than make the drive, partly as a result of the business office raising the cost to stay in the dorms. The swimming pool has been closed. In 2013, one of Lick Observatory's key funding sources was scheduled for elimination in 2018, which many worried would result in the closing of the entire observatory. In November 2014, the University of California announced its intention to continue support of Lick Observatory. Telescopes at Lick Observatory are used by researchers from multiple campuses of the University of California system. Current topics of research carried out at LIC include exoplanets, supernovae, active galactic nuclei, planetary science, and development of new adaptive optics technologies. Topic. Significant discoveries The following astronomical objects were discovered at LIC Observatory. Measurement of the size of the major moons of Jupiter by A. A. Michelson in 1891 Several moons of Jupiter Amalthea Alara Himalaya Sinop Near-Earth asteroid 29075-1950 Da Several extrasolar planets Quintuple planet system 55 Cancri Triple Planet System Upsilon Andromedae with Whipple Observatory Double Planet Systems 
HD 38529 with Keck Observatory, HD 12661 with Keck, Gliese 876 with Keck, 47 or say Majoris. The first detection of emission lines in the spectrum of an active galaxy. The jet emerging from the active nucleus in Messier 87. The hidden active galactic nucleus in NGC 1068, detected using spectropolarimetry in addition to observations of natural phenomena. Lick was also the location of the first laser range finding observation of the Apollo 11 reflector, although this was only for confirmation purposes and no ongoing range finding work was performed. Topic. Equipment Current equipment and locations The C. Donald Shane Telescope 120-inch reflector Shane Dome, Tycho Bra Peak. Its instrumentation includes The Hamilton Spectrometer The CAST Double Spectrograph The Shaneo Adaptive Optics System with Laser Guide Star the automated Planet Finder 94-inch reflector. First light was originally scheduled for 2006. The telescope finally came into regular use in 2013. The Anna L. Nickel 39-inch reflector North small dome, main building. The Great Lick 36-inch refractor South Dome, Main Building, Observatory Peak The Crossley 35-inch reflector Crossley Dome, Ptolemy Peak The Katzman Automatic Imaging Telescope 30-inch reflector 24-inch Dome, Kepler Peak the 24-inch Code Auxiliary Telescope inside of Shane Dome, South Wall, Tycho Bra Peak. The Tachman 20-inch reflector Tachman Dome atop the water tank, Huygens Peak. The Carnegie 20-inch twin refractor double astrograph dome, Tycho Bra Peak removed equipment. CCD Comet Camera 135 mm 5. 3 inch Nikon Camera Lens. The Outhouse. Southwest of the Shane Dome, Tycho Bra Peak. Topic. See also Charles Dillon Perrine. List of largest optical refracting telescopes. William Wallace Campbell, Director of Lick Observatory, 1900-1930